Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I really wanted to create a super natural wearable look since a lot of the looks we've been doing have been super dramatic and a little bit more complicated to achieve. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. And if you guys want to be entered in this month's giveaway, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to our channel. Make sure that you hit that bell button. So turn your post notifications on so that you never ever miss a video. And then if you live in the US, comment done down below to be automatically entered in all all of our future giveaways. So the first thing that I did was I grabbed my Too Faced concealer and I used this as a primer so I just applied it all over my eyelid and that's just going to cancel any discoloration and it's just going to make my eyeshadows appear a little bit more vibrant on the eye. So I always blend it out with a damp beauty sponge and then I set everything in place with some translucent powder and that helps to blend eyeshadow a little bit easier as well. The palette that I went in with is the Baby Got Peach palette from ColourPop and I really like this palette. I feel like the colors are super uh, wearable and you can just create so many different looks with this palette. It's really perfect for somebody that doesn't like really dark eyeshadows because all of the eyeshadows are relatively light and just a good everyday palette. So the first shade that I went in with is the shade Darlin which is this really light beige color and I grabbed that with a big fluffy brush and I just put that in my crease as my transition shade going in back and forth motions. Not being too precise with this step, just throwing that shade in my crease. Next, I went into the shade Centerfold, which is this really beautiful pinky shade. And I put that in my crease as well, focusing it on the upper crease. Just going in back and forth motions and starting to add depth. And yeah, we're just continuing to add to the background before we go in with the deepest shade in the palette. And the deepest shade in the palette is this one right here. It's called Half Baked and it's a matte brown eyeshadow, but it's pretty light. You guys will see I built it up a few times in my crease and pretty much this is the, the most darkness that I could get out of it. So it's still super wearable. It's one of those eyeshadows that you can't really mess up because you can just go in with the other shades and blend it out if it's too sharp for your taste. But I just took a defined angled brush just so I could have specific placement of where I could apply it. So I just applied it a little bit above my actual crease. Starting to map out where I want to add that, that depth. And then I went back into the shades Centerfold and Darlin. And I grabbed a fluffy brush. And I just went in back and forth motions just really building up the crease. Making sure that everything is nice and blended. And there are no harsh lines. And then the last shade that I went in with is the shade Okr, and yeah, it's like a matte orangey browny type of shade. And I just grabbed that with a flat brush and I just packed that all over the eyelid. And yeah, I pretty much, I only used three eyeshadows for this look, but it looks like I used a lot more than that. It's just such a natural wearable look and I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. For lashes, I went into my Sophie Bella Lashes in the style Barbados. I will definitely leave a link in the description box down below for those of you guys that want to check out our lash brand. We do offer a 10% off coupon code for those of you guys that are checking out for the first time. So definitely go to our website if you want more info on that. But yeah, I went in with the style Barbados, which is one of our more dramatic styles, but I absolutely love it. Even with a super natural eye look, it just dresses the look up and makes it more girly and flirty. And yeah, I just love a really, really nice dramatic lash. Next, I went into the shade Darlin' once again, 
and I just put that on my lower lashes focusing it on the outer corner and then I went into the shade centerfold as well just to really tie the upper crease with the lower lash line so I wanted to use some of the same shades and then I put that on my lower lashes as well just going in back and forth motions and then the last thing that I did was I applied some lower lash mascara And yeah, this is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell button so that you never, ever miss a video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!